Hello, I'm Doug King and welcome to A Photographer's Dining Table. If you're like me, an enthusiastic photographer, but with limited space for setting up a studio, you'll probably find that your dining table gets used for all sorts of purposes, from sorting out gear to use for macros and still lifes, etc. The best conversations also seem to happen over the dining room table, often with a glass of wine or a coffee in hand. So this seemed like the ideal venue to get together and discuss some of the tips and tricks that I've picked up over the years that make my life easier as a photographer. I'm going to start today by having a quick look at two apparently insignificant little pieces of kit that have actually made a really big difference to the way that I can work in the field. These are two little pouches by Tenba Tools. These are the Reload series. I have one for batteries and one for memory cards. These have really made a difference to the way that I work. Do you remember how difficult it is to work out which battery is charged and which battery is flat and how often you've used particular batteries when they're all jumbled up together in your camera bag? Well, that used to be me. Not anymore. I tend to travel with three batteries, one in my camera and two spares. This pouch, the Reload Battery 2, takes two standard sized SLR batteries. Not only does it keep them conveniently together and easy to find, it also allows me to arrange my charging so that all my batteries are equally exercised. I keep my batteries charged in the pouch with the contact side up and when they're discharged I put them back into the pouch contact side down so I always know which ones are charged and which ones are discharged. I also use this to as I said to keep all my batteries equally exercised because when I take one out to put in the camera I always take from the left hand pouch put that in the camera and then I move the battery from the right pouch to the left pouch and put the flat battery back on the left hand side. And that way I'm always rotating my three batteries and making sure that all of them have been equally used and equally recharged. Simple and so much less hassle than trying to keep a record of all the charge sequences by writing down the serial numbers or anything silly like that. The other pouch is the Reload Universal memory card pouch. Now there are a number of memory card pouches available. Uh, I used to use one which had specific pockets for compact flash and for SD. Of course that means that you're then limited from each kind of card to the number of pockets that are available in your pouch. I now shoot on a camera which has got two slots, one for compact flash, one for SD, so I like to be able to mix and match. And this pouch, the Reload Universal, allows me to do that. This simply has two zippered pockets into which you can throw as many of any kind of uh, memory card as you choose. Now the clever bit is that the two pockets are distinguished by coloured zips. So I always keep empty, formatted, ready to go memory cards in the pocket with the green zip and my exposed cards in the pocket with the red zip. So I'm never going to mix them up and I'm never going to find myself on a shoot, scrabbling around trying to figure out which of the cards are exposed, which cards are empty and maybe missing a crucial shot. So clever idea, simple little piece of kit, tremendously helps in the organisation on the, in the field and on, on, on shoots. Both pouches come with attachments, uh, belt loops, so that you can attach directly to a belt or maybe to the shoulder strap if you use a, a backpack type camera bag. They have attachment loops for lanyards or any other kind of fixing that you like. And on the memory card pouch, there's a clear plastic sleeve on the back that allows you to uh, capture a business card or other contact details so that should you lose this pouch your precious photos can be returned to you. Simple, effective and not too expensive. These 
pouches are both widely available from internet retailers. I bought mine on Amazon. They're between 10, 12, 15 pounds a piece. So for that kind of price, why wouldn't you want to be organized? Well, that's it for now. And I'll see you again over the photographer's dining table on another occasion.